Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another tutorial in Malux FX. Today's tutorial is all about experimentation. I'm going to test out DeepSeek, a free AI tool, whether it can replace ChatGPT for Python scripting inside Nuke. Will it work? Will it fail? Let's find out together. Okay, so we are inside Nuke right now and let me go into workspace and here you can see scripting. The shortcut for that is shift f4 now we have the scripting workspace open here you can see this is specifically built for scripting because you have two panes here where you can type in your inputs and you can see the results or you can see the output in this pane so this can be considered as input and output panes if you don't understand in simple sense if you input any scripts here and try to execute that you can see the results or in many cases it will be error over here i hope it makes sense i'm using chrome browser here so let me type in chat dot deep seek dot com and you can see this is the interface of DeepSeek. it is totally free to use and because of that sometimes server is too busy you might not be able to get the answer right away but at least it is free and there are two modes here one is deep think and the other one is search if you want to access web for your search you can turn the search option on out of everything the best thing is that you can turn on deep think and hence this will be acting like a reasoning model Back in Nuke again, I'm gonna take blur node. Let's ask DeepSeek to generate a Python script for automatically typing in a value of maybe 50 here. And also I will change the channels to RGBA. If possible, I can make this as quadratic and I'll uncheck this option. Let's keep the mix value as 0.5. So all these things, I don't have to do it manually. I'm just going to ask DeepSeek to write a Python code for getting this done automatically. Making sure what all things I need to do is changing the channels into RGBA, keeping this size as 50 changing the filter option to quadratic maybe uncheck this crop to format and also mix value 0.5 cool so i'm inside deep seek right now and let me type hi for the simple response of hi it took five seconds and you can read over here how it is thinking okay the user said hi so i should respond in a friendly and welcoming manner let's start with a greeting like hello to keep it warm and it goes on and on and also there is an error message here due to technical issues the search service is temporarily unavailable here so i'm gonna turn this option off and you can see the answer here hello how can i assist you today i need some help writing few lines of code for me okay it took around 13 seconds to think and answer to do, 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 do okay so i want to write a python script for some action inside foundry nuke Okay, so you can see it took almost like 22 seconds here and this is the reasoning it thought to give this answer. So I'm going to straight away ask what my need is and let's see if it works. Can you write a Python script to... It's been like more than 20 seconds and it's still been thinking. Oops, that's the server is busy error which I was talking about. Cool, so here we can see the Python script for the task which we asked and I'm gonna click on this copy option. That means copying the entire script without manually selecting it. And back in Nuke, this was the actual blur node which we planned. Now let's see if we can create a blur node very much similar to this. I'm gonna paste the Python script over here and uh, gonna select everything. You can also use Ctrl A and you can press Ctrl Enter in your keyboard or you can simply press on this option, run the current script. I'm gonna press Ctrl Enter in my keyboard there we go. So this is the blur node which got created. Let's double click on this to open up the properties. So you can see channel matches RGBA. The value is 50 over here. This is not a mistake because I asked 55 as value. This is actually working. You can see the filter failed. We asked for quadratic and uh, the filter is still Gaussian. You can see the crop to format is working because it just got unchecked. And also you can see the mix value is 0.5. So let's see actually what the script define a function for the task which we assigned and where it is failing filter type quadratic. Let's see what's the spelling of quadratic. Maybe caps is the issue. Let me try one more time. Okay. Let me ask for the same script with the exact spelling. Everything worked. Request. Okay, so the script is ready. Let me copy this. Going back to Nuke. 
or let me open this and keep here pasting the new code here control a control enter the result is blur node so that means it actually worked now let me open up the properties again keeping the new one over here it failed again let me try to edit it myself and see if it actually work i'm not a code geek so <laughs> definitely let me know if i'm doing any mistakes here this is just me exploring deep seek going through the code one more time okay okay everything is done let me run the script again so many blur node properties here where is it where is it where is it yes cool so that fixed the issue now you can see maybe i'm gonna show you one more time so here i'm going to create a new blur node there we go so this is a new blur node and if you go into the properties you can see the channels are set as rgba and the size is 55 instead of gaussian you can see quadratic as the filter uncheck the crop to format option the mix value as 0.5 so this actually worked so here a mix of deep seek as well as my very basic python skill worked okay so my next task is let me delete all this stuff I'm going to create a transform node in the properties. I want to set keyframe for the translate option. And also I need to add expression for rotate and scale knobs. Click over here, set key. That's my first task. Right click over here, add expression frame two. This is the expression which I need on my rotate knob. Click on OK. Right click over here, add expression. Also, you can press equal sign in your keyboard. That simply takes us to the expression knob very easily. Let me type in uh, random frame. So this is the expression which I want to be added to the scale knob. So let me click on OK. So I hope this task is clear to you guys. So let me go into DeepSeek, type in the request and see what it produces. Back inside the same chat window, this helps DeepSeek to remember what I was chatting about and what the conversation was all about. Let me type. Cool. Let me type in enter and see what the result is. You can also go through the entire reasoning. It's pretty fascinating most of the times. Definitely you need a lot of time for this, but really cool. Here is the Python script. So let me copy this. I'm just going to try the first code it generates. I'm not going to alter the script every now and then. So let me copy this and go back to Nuke. Cool. So I'm inside Nuke here. Let's delete this old script and let's paste the new one. So this is the new script. I'm not going through any of these lines. Let me do control A, control enter. First itself, we got an error here, so definitely it failed. Obviously, it produces a transform node, but nothing is added over here, so definitely I would say it didn't work. For sure, we can ask it to recorrect the code and we can try again, but I just want to make sure if it is working on my first try. Yeah, this didn't work, so thumbs down. Next task is going to be a bit more challenging. Let's ask DeepSeek to create a gizmo. I'm going to create a blur node and connected to that an erode fast node. Let me select both nodes and press Ctrl G. That creates a group. This can be exported as a gizmo as well. So basically I wanted to create a gizmo with blur and dilate properties. So how to do that? Just right click over here, manage user knobs, pick blur, blur, size. Okay, pick, dilate, dilate, size. Okay, so you can see here both knobs are visible, but I want to differentiate the naming. So let me select size of the blur node and edit. Maybe label blur size. Same with the dilate option. Edit, dilate. Click on done. So now we have a blur and dilate gizmo. So I want to ask DeepSeek to generate a Python script for doing the same thing. Let's do that. Back in DeepSeek and let me type in the request. Okay, so this is my question and I'm going to click on enter and see what the result is. I'm sorry, I just did a mistake here. I'm gonna copy the same question and uh, correct my mistake here. So it's a blur node, not a blue node. <laughs> Enter. Cool, so finally the answer is ready. It's crazy number of lines here. <laughs> so it thought about 136 seconds. So let me copy the code and try that inside Nuke. I'm inside Nuke and let's delete the old code, paste the new one, control A, control enter. That's cool. We have a new gizmo here and the name of the gizmo is Blue Road, just as we requested. And you can see blur size and error size. And let me check if it is actually working. Let me take a roto node, connect that here. This view on the blue road and you can see this is the alpha. So let's increase the blur size. It failed. It actually created the knob. I think it is not connected to the actual knob. Let's try with the erode size. At the initial glance, I thought it actually worked, but guess it didn't got connected to the actual knobs. You can see there is an S shaped icon here. Let's click on that. 
actually it is linked i'm just wondering what it is actually happening let me go back to the node graph let me view on the blur node okay so now i got it the issue is that the value is very 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 tiny here you can see it's 0.865 so the fix is to copy the exact type of knob into the group somewhere around there it got messed up so let's view on the blue road let's type in a crazy value here maybe 100 that actually worked and you can see in a way it is actually working again it didn't fail but definitely failed and let's move into our next task okay i'm gonna try one more task because i don't want to make this tutorial a very long one with lots of iterations going back and forth let's keep this short and tidy so my final request to deepstick is to create a python script for some organizing needs in this case i have lots of notes here let me go into the compositing workspace that is going to be much easier and i have few grade notes as well and i also have few merge notes here so i just want to grab all my grade notes cut that from there and create a backdrop node paste all those grade notes inside this backdrop node let's label the backdrop as grade notes i hope the thinking is not that crazy let's see if deep seek is actually helping us to do this after the notes i have selected in the node graph sort out the grade notes group them as separate inside a backdrop node and also label backdrop notes as grade notes let's have a conversation with deep seek okay so even i'm a bit confused about the question so let me read one more time let's see what the result is Cool, so the answer is ready and let me check out the duration it uh, took for the thinking. So it is around 60 seconds. So I'm going to copy the code and go back to Nuke. So this is the group of nodes which I'm going to sort out. And you can see it's not that tough here, but consider we are going to work on a much bigger scale. In this case, let's try out with this. I'm going to select the entire group of nodes. Let's go back to workspace, scripting. Let me paste the new script. Control V. If you have time and knowledge, definitely go through this. And as soon as you are done with that, just Control A, Control Enter. Okay, so it says no grade notes selected. Really sorry about that. I didn't select the notes. So click on OK. Select the entire group of notes. Try executing the same script again. Control Enter. The color is very fancy. Okay, so it failed but it did created a backdrop node with a very 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 bright color and also it just labeled the backdrop node as grade notes so that part worked it didn't sorted out the grade notes so it failed so would i recommend deepseek for nuke scripting for simple task absolutely it's free and surprisingly it's very much capable as well for complex stuff not really 100 percent well you definitely need to tweak things for sure but i guess that's the fun part right please like this video if you enjoyed this experiment and i will see you guys in my next tutorial thank you for watching